Preparing cockroaches for search and rescue operations can now be done in slightly over a minute compared to an hour. Nanyang Technological University has developed the world's first automated system to get such cyborg insects ready for deployment. Now, this means more insects can be urgently sent out on such life-saving missions. Nadine Yam finds out more. This cockroach was one of 10 deployed to Myanmar with the Singapore Civil Defence Force after an earthquake hit earlier this year. It helped to locate survivors under the rubble, where traditional machines would struggle with access and power cuts. Ideally, 500 insects should have been sent on the mission. For actual disaster to okay, happen, okay, we need to ask, uh, deploy uh, many cyborg insects okay, to inspect okay, large area to find okay, human uh, under the rubble. Mm -hmm. so, we, uh, so we need to prepare the many cyborg insects shortly. And for that, okay, manual okay, the implantation operation okay, or preparation uh, is not okay, sufficient to have the okay, massive okay, amount of the cyborg insects. Which is why Prof Sato has invented the Cyborg Insect Factory. It automates the process of attaching these backpacks to the roaches, containing infrared sensors, wireless transmitters and a micro camera. The process is now 60 times faster compared to doing it by hand. Now, Prof Sato's team is exploring other uses of such roaches. Most humans won't be able to squeeze into a pipe like this one. But over here at NTU, researchers have a mock-up in their lab to test cyborg insects for other uses, such as infrastructure inspection and maintenance. And other than cyborg cockroaches like my friend over here, researchers tell me that they are looking to explore the use of other animals. For example, cyborg beetles, which could be used for operations high above ground, as well as crabs, which could be used for underwater search and rescue missions. Prof Sato also says other government agencies have approached him to use his cyborg insects.